Images of the explosion that took place as a result of a Russian drone attack on Odessa city on the night leading to November 9 have been released. According to footage published on Ukrainian telegram channels, a strong explosion and fire occurred after a Shahid kamikaze drone hit a residential building. As a result of the attack, one person was killed and 13 others, including two children, were injured. As a result of the drone strike on the city, two high-rise buildings were damaged, and a large number of cars were burnt and damaged. Рама все вынесла, нахуй, вообще. Главное, что дом не загорелся. Машины все горят. Вот окон куча выбита, здесь стенки вон повылетали, но наружные. Дальше все пока вот так, ну пожар сбили. In its final months, President Joe Biden's administration has decided to allow U.S. defense contractors to work in Ukraine to service and repair weapons provided by the Pentagon, U.S. officials told Reuters. It is noted that this is a significant change in policy aimed at helping Kyiv in the fight against Russia. A U.S. official, speaking on condition of anonymity, said the contractors would be few in number and would be located far from the front lines and would not engage in combat. They will help ensure that U.S. provided equipment can be quickly repaired if damaged and maintained as needed, the official said. Restrictions in the past have sometimes slowed repairs and have become increasingly difficult as the United States has supplied Kyiv with more sophisticated systems such as F-16 fighter jets and Patriot air defense systems, officials say. CNN adds that the weapon systems that will be serviced by U.S. contractors include F-16 fighter jets and Patriot air defense systems. Much of the equipment is not being used by Ukraine because it is damaged, a second U.S. official said. Journalists note. The move is the latest easing of restrictions by the Biden administration, which has sought to help Ukraine defend itself from Moscow's invasion 2.5 years ago without directly engaging in conflict with nuclear-armed Russia. A third U.S. official said the decision would push the Pentagon to follow suit with the U.S. State Department and U.S. Agency for International Development, which already have American contractors in Ukraine. The official added that no U.S. troops would be needed to protect contractors in Ukraine, and that issues such as security and risk mitigation would be the responsibility of the companies that contract with the Pentagon. Some U.S. defense contractors have gone to Ukraine in small numbers in the past, servicing weapons not supplied by the Pentagon, the official said. Given that there is already a wide range of American companies that have personnel in Ukraine fulfilling contracts for the Ukrainian government, there will not be a significant increase in the number of American employees working on the ground, the first official said. A parked SUV containing gas cylinders and other flammable materials exploded on a residential street in New York City on Friday, damaging homes, other vehicles and overhead power lines, fire officials said. Deputy Fire Chief George Healy said at a news conference at the scene of the explosion in the city borough of Queens that there were miraculously no injuries reported. The dramatic moment when the vehicle exploded into a fireball was captured on doorbell camera footage. The fire department also posted a video and photos of the charred wreckage and the surrounding destruction, which included homes with blown-out windows and heavily damaged cars. Healy said the explosion happened at around 6.45 a.m. in the South Ozone Park section of Queens. The destroyed vehicle was being used for construction work and contained a number of pressurized cylinders, one of which experienced a failure that triggered the explosion, he said. Some lithium-ion batteries were also being stored in the car, though they were not compromised. All told, five homes and five vehicles were damaged, Healy said.
the general public should be very aware of the safety that needs to be utilized when we're using pressurized cylinders and lithium-ion batteries, he added. So please just make sure if you have these devices, they are stored properly and safely in a manner that won't prevent any sort of injury or damage. The death toll from a powerful bombing at a Quetta rail station in southwestern Pakistan on Saturday rose to 17, officials said. The attack also left 30 others wounded, some critically. A bomb exploded when passengers were waiting for a train to travel to the garrison city of Rawalpindi from Quetta, the capital of the restive Balochistan province, said Mohammed Baloch, a senior police officer. TV footage showed the platform littered with passengers' luggage. A separatist group, the Balochistan Liberation Army claimed the attack in a statement, saying a suicide bomber targeted troops present at the railway station. Police said they are investigating the claim. The oil and mineral-rich Balochistan is Pakistan's largest but also least populated province. It is also a hub for the country's ethnic Baloch minority whose members say they face discrimination and exploitation by the central government. Along with separatist groups, Islamic militants also operate in the province. BLA often targets security forces and foreigners, especially Chinese nationals who are in Pakistan as part of Beijing's multi-billion dollar Belt and Road Initiative, which is building major infrastructure projects. सुबह जब यहाँ पे लोग जमा थे और उसमें हर तरह के लोग थे सरकारी और आम आम की जो बाकी भी जो मुसाफिर थे यहाँ पे तक उनको डेढ़ सौ दो सौ की तादाद थी जो यहाँ पे जमा थे और यहाँ पे धमाका हुआ इनिशियली हमने जो चीज़ का इन्वेस्टिगेट किया है क्राइम सीन है सारा कुछ हमें इनिशियली लग रहा था कि शायद कोई खुदकुश होगा लेकिन क्योंकि आवाम का इतना जमघटा और रश था इस जगह पर मौके पर तो मजीद हम इसका तयन कर रहे हैं कि इन एक्चुअली इसकी नोयत थी क्या इनिशियली अभी तक जो फिगर्स हमारे पास ऐसा ऐसा जो पायलप हुए हैं हुए हैं जो कंफर्म हुए हैं जिसमें 16 जो हैं शहादतें कंफर्म हुई हैं लेकिन ये बाकी क्रिटिकल हालत में हैं और ये फिगर जो है हमारी अब हो सकती है और 30 की जख्मी की जो हमारे पास फिगर